The 13 On Your Side Weather Deck is sponsored by Montel Construction, your home team. Welcome back to 13 on your side. I'm meteorologist Samantha Jacks outside on the weather deck this morning. Got my nice warmest coat on and you should too. Trying to limit though the amount of time that you spend outdoors, especially the further inland that you travel where the coldest conditions are prevailing over towards the Ionia region with sub zero temperatures this morning. Starting off with your weather ball, it is currently blinking green. We have no change for seen in temps today. As we head into the afternoon hours, it will feel as cold as it did yesterday, but we do have a cooler start to our morning and then a little bit of light lake effect snow in sight. This view is sponsored by Countryside Greenhouse of Allendale. Taking a current look at our satellite and radar here, you can see that we do have those light flurries mainly concentrated towards our lakeshore communities. Now, meteorologist Blake Hansen did send me a text about 20 minutes 20 minutes ago that I-96, the further westbound that you travel, did have snow-coated roadways. So that could slow you down just a pinch, but the further inland that you travel, even starting to see some breaks in the cloud coverage. This is where our coldest air mass is. Remember, clouds are act like a blanket to the sky. They hold in that little bit more more of heat that in combination with the lake shore continuing to keep you all a little bit warmer, but the further inland that you travel nine degrees right now there in Fulton Grand Junction sitting at 13 degrees traveling that little bit further north Saranac sitting at one degree Lowell at five degrees Rockford at seven degrees this morning, nine degrees in Riemann Pentwater 11 degrees. So again, the closer you get to the lake shore, the little bit warmer it is. But while we're dealing with dry skies here, you're dealing with that little bit of lake effect snow that will continue to be the case throughout the afternoon hours. Temperature wise, we will climb to a whole 17 degrees today, but feeling more like the single digits all afternoon long feels like forecast throughout the afternoon or excuse me throughout the next 10 days continues to keep us underneath a cold forecast for at least the first half. You can see all the way through Saturday. In fact, our coldest conditions are going to be on Friday itself overnight Friday and into Saturday. Some locations even dropping down sub zero. Once again, it will be a little bit more widespread than what we're seeing this morning. Next week, though, it's nice to see that push of warm air. Hour by hour forecast today keeps us underneath light lake effect snow showers all the way through the evening and overnight hours. But then look at Wednesday. Bright blue skies are anticipated across the region. Lots of sunshine as high pressure sinks into place that will continue into your Thursday some as well. And so even though we're holding on to this colder air mass over the next couple of days, it will be nice to see those bright blue skies today, though, temperature wise continuing on in the teens along the lakeshore, low teens the further inland that you travel and feeling like the single digits all afternoon long for places like Ionia, Hastings and Battle Creek. The rest of your 13 on your side 10 day forecast showing off that warming air mass as we head into next week, slightly above average temperatures, but a relatively quiet forecast in terms of precipitation.